Hello, our friends, Dr. Beck here. Welcome to Art Ways Where Learning is Fun. Today, we're going to be making some Thanksgiving Day cards. And you're going to need some cardstock paper, which is a heavier paper, like an oak tag. But if you don't have it, white paper will do. A pencil, an eraser, and if you want to do some cutouts on here, scissors and glue and some extra paper, colored paper. Some colored pencils or crayons, your choice. See you in a minute. We're going to make this Happy Thanksgiving card first. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of our paper. If you have oak tag, that would be great. If not, you could use regular white paper. And fold the paper in half. Go edge to edge like this, point to point. Hold your hand tightly on the paper. Push back and then each way. This way you get a nice, crisp, even fold. Make sure the fold is on the left side. A card opens like a book. Okay. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add two little border strips of paper. And if you don't have this particular paper, you could either make a design or you could cut a piece of um, gift wrap paper. Okay, and you're going to put some glue stick on here or glue, whatever you have available. And I'm going to border out the edges of this card to give it a little more decoration. When we make cards, try to pay attention to detail. If I move too quickly, just pause the video, get what you need, and start the video again. Okay. I do everything in Sharpie so you could see it really well, but I'd like you to do it in pencil first, especially when you get to the lettering. When we get to the lettering, I want you to be super duper careful with your lettering. Okay, here we go. We're going to, I'm going to start by putting the two eyes in to our turkey. And then the beak. Just like that. And I'm going to add a waddle. And I'm going to put the neck in like this. I'm going to come up, add the head and some feathers on top, and come around like that. I'm going to come down and stop and stop. And I'm going to make okay. Kind of looks like a bowling pin. Now I'm going to have his feet come out like this. So make a loop out like that. His legs and his paws. Claws rather. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just going to show you this part in pencil and then do it in Sharpie. I'd like to put the feathers in the background, but what I want to do is come up like this with my pencil just to get a half circle behind this entire turkey. Okay, so this way I have guidelines where to put my feathers. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put a feather in here. And a feather in here. Then I'm going to make a little loop, put another feather in here, and another feather in here. And I'm going to continue all the way around, one on one side, one on the other. And because you have that nice pencil guideline in there, it'll keep everything in check. Stop by the foot if your foot's in the way. If you're 
claws in the way rather. I'm just going to do this and now I want to put in his wings like this detail is important when you're making a card I measured out happy Thanksgiving take your time use your pencil and try to center it best you can. Thanksgiving is a long word. If you don't measure it out, sometimes you'll run out of space, erase it and start again. Okay. And now we're going to color in. We're going to color. You could use your crayons, you could use colored pencils, you could have fun with your turkey. Now I wanted to show you uh, a way of blending the yellow down to the red. I start out by coloring with my lightest color first. So this case would be the yellow. I'll do two, mostly near the outside edge. But coming down to the middle, my lightest yellow first. I happen to have a few shades of yellow and orange and red here. If you don't, you could just have fun with whatever colors you, you have available. Then I'm going to get my next darkest color and overlap the yellow, but not all the way to the end, not all the way to the end. And then I'm going to come in with a little bit darker of an or yellow, yellow orange. I'm not worried about down there because that's going to be much darker. Overlap it a little. Now I'm going to come in with some orange and I'm going to feather it up like this. Look, I'm going to go darker down here and then pull it up gently. Pull it up gently. There. Pull it up gently. This is a nice technique that you could blend and never bring that dark color all the way to the end. If you want to go back in with your yellow, overlap that with the lighter color. And then I'm going to come in with this red down here, lightly as you go away from the middle, dark in here and lighter out here, dark in here, lighter out there.
And then I'm going to go to this darker red, right, right near the edge here, and then come up and stop. And I feather that color in so that it's darkest at this point and disappears right out there. Darker here and disappears out here. Okay, and then finish them up. And now for our next card, same thing. Get your paper, fold it in half, point to point, hold it down with your hand, push out over and over. So you get a nice fold. Everything's nice and straight. Make sure the fold is on your left side like this. For this card, I pre-cut a few pieces of paper here. I'm making a sign on the turkey so I cut out a yellow and a bigger black piece. I also pre-cut a hat. You could make yours anything, any kind of hat you want, any sign you want. You don't have to make a sign. I also cut his beak which is just a little soft triangle and I cut a few hearts. to add, and I cut the waddle. Okay, here we go. A 
as always, I tell you to do this in pencil. I need to do it in Sharpie so you could see. And if you need to pause, do so. I'm going to start off by making something that almost looks like parentheses, like this. One, two. And then I'm going to add a neck here and here. Now I'm going to put his feathers on and I'm going to be just so you know covering this here so it's not going to matter if I come all the way down for the ones on top. So I'm going to start with the center feather. Come up here and make an upside down loop like that. Then I'm going to work side to side. I'm going to add that side, one on the right, one on the left. One on the right, one on the left. Now these, I'm going to stop at the head. And this one I'm going to bring down to the neck. Bring down to the neck. And then another one. Now this is where I'm going to put the sign, so that could be like that. So I'm going to make sure I touch the neck right there. Next I'm going to add one, two eyes. And that's all I'm going to use my Sharpie for. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the face in, his head in, because I'm going to add these pieces after that, but I want to show you how to do this first. So this turkey has two cute cheeks. I'm going to use little pinks. So I know where his beak is going to go. It's going to go right about there. So I'm going to right around here. Make a little cheek here and a little cheek there. So I'm going to glue that on in a second. Then I'm going to overlap this with a light pink, but not in the middle, only towards the edges. I'm going to leave the middle lighter so that I'm making it glow from light to darker. Next, I'm going to go to a little deeper pink. And again, if you don't have these colors, just use whatever you have available. It's fine. You want to make them another color, go ahead. And then I'm going to add a little glow on the, a little shimmer on the outside of this deeper pink. Okay. going to color his neck and head but I don't have to worry about right there because I'm going to put the beak on there so I could kind of do this watch come around where the beak is going to be and I'm going to stop right there because the hat's going to be there
I'm going to get my glue stick out and I'm going to add turkey's hat right here. Make sure you overlap. I'm actually going to lift that up and pull it to the left a little. Try to center it. I'm going to add the beak. Right there. I'm not going to add this until I color those feathers in. Then I'm going to put the sign in over here. Overlap. Center it. And again, if you don't have any cut paper, you could make a sign right here yourself. I'm also going to take a white pencil, give it a little design in there to break up the hat. And I'm gonna add this little heart that I cut out right here. And this little heart in the sign. Now in the sign, I wrote Happy Thanksgiving. Again, I wrote it out first. I did it carefully and I centered it. Take your time with <clears throat> lettering. Super important. And the only thing I have left is to color in these feathers. I happen to do this particular one in a repetition of a maroon, brown, uh, light brown, orange, gold, and then I repeated it. Maybe this one I want to do it in other colors. Maybe I'll do this one in, I don't know, maybe blues and greens. Let's see. Light green. Yeah, maybe this will be nice. What the heck? Maybe I'll use two greens and two blues and one other color. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe purple. Okay. I'm going to start with purple in the middle.
Thank you for visiting Art Ways today because there are so many ways to use art. I hope everybody enjoyed drawing their Thanksgiving Day cards today. And don't forget, be smart, include art. See you next time.